Hello everyone. Okay, so I am recording this message, pre-recording this message for Tuesday, June 14th. Um, and this is going to be a message for the full moon in Sagittarius. I'm just trying to manage my time accordingly for this week. So Tuesday's message is pre-recorded, but the intention is to pull the energy for the Sagittarius full moon, which is going to be the balance of polarity and the balance of... Uh, the duality of life you know i've been putting out a lot of messages regarding the duality of life and the balance the balancing that we kind of need to do to do and the acceptance that we need to have about life and the ups and downs and everything that kind of comes together but with gemini and sagittarius both being energies that balance out dualities the message is going to be quite strong with a full moon okay we're going to be encouraged to look at something a little deeper something a little bit more um profound when it comes to our journeys and how we're sort of balancing our headspace and our heart space and the light and darker parts of who we are so for that i'm going to be looking at some oracle decks and then i'll be using the rider weight tarot one of my favorites to pull up some messages i'm sorry for the shake you are connected to a little table here so let's see I have the Sacred Geometry of Relationships Oracle here. I have a feeling a love message is coming through. So um, I'm going to be using the deck for that, okay? Let me just get set up here. <laughs> okay, bottom of the deck is Attraction. We'll look at that when we get to it. But let's look at some of the overall energies we have here, okay? For the full moon in Sagittarius, we have collaborative dreaming and we have focus on the light. This was also at the bottom of the deck when it came out. Focus on the light. This is a very, what number is this? 37. That's 10. This gives me a very sun type energy from the Rider Waite tarot deck. So we've got some Leo energy right here. And then with collaborative dreaming, okay, I'm seeing that there's a lot of astral communication happening between you and potentially another because I see only two bodies here. And that is mirroring back to you something about your own personal journey and look that spiral is there right in the center which is kind of like that return to self that new zealand maori symbol of the koru so there's a return to self happening with this full moon in sagittarius and it is asking you to focus on some of the lighter parts of your journey not focusing so much on the depth and the heaviness of some of the things that you have faced some of the truths that you have come to some of the realizations that may have been quite bitter Things are coming to the surface, but they're coming to the surface to be acknowledged and cleared, okay? So those are the two energies that I'm going to grab. So let's look at tarot to see what that means from a tarot perspective. Let's pull up some details, okay? You know, focus on the light as much as that is a Leo energy there. The collaborative dreaming part is that duality with you and another, right? And then look at how you guys are being mirrored. It's like... Aside from just looking at these two images and seeing you and another here, it's like your lighter version and your darker version being mirrored back in the experience with another whose lighter versions and darker versions are coming to light. Okay? It's pretty interesting the way these cards are. Everybody's embracing themselves here with the way their arms are. It's like they're giving themselves that, that hug. So there's this sort of individual journey of coming back to self and nourishing and nurturing ourselves as we heal. Look, the star at the bottom of the deck already, okay? So I'm seeing that you and another person, this could be a love message, this could be twin flames, this could be divine counterparts, this could be whatever it is. But you and another person here um, have been through and have experienced a situation that's causing you to look deeper within yourself deeper for answers deeper for clarity deeper for an understanding of who you are and i think that journey is coming a little full circle right now okay with the spiral at the center here of the heart i'm seeing that there is a return to self as painful as this journey may have been the light the clarity the truth the authenticity that came to the surface is encouraging you to honor yourself this may have been very difficult for you in the past but this full moon in Sagittarius is making you do that. You know, I'm very called and very compelled to say this could be a twin flame relationship or divine counterparts because um, in the tarot deck, it's Archangel Michael and the Temperance card. Temperance is the energy of Sagittarius. And in that deck, Archangel Michael is tempering the water between two cups. And Archangel Michael is the, the Archangel that kind of guides those twin flame connections. So take it how it resonates. You don't have to be in one of those connections. And you don't have to label yourself as being in those connections at all. At all. So let's understand more about this journey here, this mirroring that's kind of happening. 
Okay, I've got the Queen of Pentacles. That's the first card to come out. I've got my Reiki music in the background so I can get some cleansing happening. We've got the King of Pentacles. Um, okay. We've got the Queen and King of Pentacles. Did I not just go in and talk about romance and divine counterparts and twin flames? Okay, this message, I'd say, is resonating very strongly for those in divine counterpart connections, twin flame connections. And look, I don't know if you heard that notification from my WhatsApp, but I'm being supported by spirit in saying that to you. Wow, I'm shocked. Now with us coming in with a pentacles energy here, a divine pair in the pentacles suit, I'm seeing that there is a grounding, a very 3D component of this connection coming back around. Um, let's understand more about this. With the devil at the bottom of the deck, that sort of gives me, it brings me back to that attraction card that I had pulled out earlier. The devil isn't toxicity, although it can be toxicity. Here I'm saying that there is something attracting the pairs back to one another. This attraction card is saying the energy of attraction amplifies the qualities that attract and support us on our journey toward inner balance and harmony. Look at that. We're already talking about the energies of balance. Okay. But how is this being manifested as we come into union with another here? That's pretty incredible here. So I am seeing the devil not as toxic. It is an insane attraction. Why is this attraction here? Let me tell you the first card under, um, the first card to come out under, a, uh, what was that? Attraction was authenticity, okay? That return to self I was talking about earlier, that is you coming back to your authentic self, you coming back to the very essence of who you are. And this connection with this person is doing that for you. Okay, you may not have wanted it. The triggers may have been so intense, but this person is coming back around. I just had to kind of reveal the, the King of Pentacles there, right? So I'm seeing that perhaps it's a masculine energy in this connection that's had to do the most work. That's been the one who was kind of hiding from himself, hiding behind certain 3D circumstances in order to and appear a certain way and be accepted and loved in a certain capacity. But he's coming back around, okay? There's an acknowledgement of the things that have kept us back from who we are. And then there's an acknowledgement of the attraction that we feel towards our counterpart too. This is incredible. And the description here for authenticity is the energy of authenticity supports our choice to be genuine and truthful in all aspects of our lives with others as well as with ourselves. So that's, this is, this is incredible. The messages are lining up so beautifully here. We've got the King of Cups. Okay, the King of Cups has now come out. That's a wonderful masculine energy. Okay, we've got the Eight of Swords that's come out now. So the Eight of Swords is the surrender and the complete give in to what needs to occur and a complete forfeit of any control so that the, uh, the energies of the universe can take over to guide this connection. And then Judgment. Okay, there is a rebirth of a masculine energy here. With the King of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and Judgment, I'm getting a strong indication that there is a masculine energy within this counterpart connection that's sort of paying the price to the Piper, okay? Um, this masculine energy, as I have mentioned before, you know, the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles came out in a reading that I had done um, yesterday, okay? And I had used... Um, the cards. I'm actually going to be uploading it as a reel to my Instagram feed, so you'll find it. It's from the Mermaid Tarot. But the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles have come out before this week. And what I'm seeing here specifically is that it's through, in that reel, I had mentioned that it was the acknowledgement of this masculine's emotions um, was going to be the way in which he was going to rebirth himself and honor where he was going in his life. And with the King of Cups coming out here in this poll, I'm seeing that there is really a great opportunity for this masculine to further step into that authenticity. This is his rebirth. He's choosing to rebirth himself, himself okay? Now, how this relates to this connection is remaining to be seen but i'm seeing the energies of the full moon in sagittarius it's really bringing in the realizations the understanding and the epiphanies and awareness that this masculine energy has needed to understand how he's operating in the world so that he can then take the inspired and guided steps to rectify any blockages from the past and move forward in a very liberated capacity um move forward in a way that honors who he truly is so this full moon in sagittarius is actually bringing a lot to the surface to be acknowledged Okay, acknowledged and cleared. 
Um, you know, they say in many sort of addiction programs, you know, usually in Alcohols Anonymous, that the first step is to admit that you have a problem. This is the kind of energy I'm seeing here with this masculine, is that this is now the beginnings of the first step where this masculine has to be like, has to acknowledge and say, okay, I have been in my own way this entire time. They're probably starting to see themselves in the same manner in which others have seen them. You know, others have been able to honor and acknowledge that this masculine has completely blocked himself from his abundance, but now this masculine is starting to see it too. And because they're acknowledging this, they get put onto a union timeline, okay? They get put onto the path of understanding deep love, pure love, and bring themselves into union with a person that they desire. Huge elements of sexual attraction here. Well, the devil also is attached to 3D circumstances. So what do we need to know about that for the masculine and then for the feminine? And while I'm seeing that there is a very 3D component and phase to this counterpart journey beginning now, the devil is telling me that it's in within these three circumstances, this new phase where both of these counterparts will be challenged to work through some of the situations that separated them to begin with. So what do I need to know about the masculine's journey? Four of cups, six of cups, and 10 of swords. And with the feminine's journey, I've got two cards that have flipped up right away. Ace of, Ace of pentacles, the tower, and Emperor. Wow. They both appear in each other's connections, um, in each other's cards. So for the masculine, the toxicity that he's really going through is one, not believing the guidance that he knows to be true. This masculine is very spiritual. This masculine, no, did you hear that notification? This masculine knows what the universe is communicating to him, but he's not listening. He's quite despondent. He's not listening because he doesn't want to integrate the changes that are required to really move him forward. And that's because he's afraid of his own truth and he's uncomfortable, okay? And also this connection with this counterpart has been quite triggering for this masculine. It's really triggered a lot of childhood wounds, childhood wounds of abandonment, childhood wounds of, you know, abusive situations. Um, and how, you know, since a child, they've, they've learned love in a very tough way. And so the beauty of the love being given from this counterpart is almost too good to be true. It's like the masculine doesn't want to believe that, such a love, such a pure love can enter their life. And perhaps this love is coming to this masculine from a person he never expected himself to be attracted to, okay? That itself is this huge blow apart of this masculine's ego and this masculine's ability to see the world and operate within it. He's always been trained to think about love working in a particular way. And then all of a sudden a counterpart pops up, this queen of pentacles, and she blows that story apart. And now he feels more than he's used to ever feeling. And it's, it's creating a lot of discombobulation, a lot of confusing energies for him. He's not exactly too sure how to move forward in this connection, but this is a toxicity that he's needed to deal with. He's dealing with it, but I'm seeing that the next phase, 3D element phase in this connection is gonna really challenge this masculine to step into his power. Now for the feminine, I'm seeing the tower, the ace of pentacles and the emperor. It seems to me that the universe is bringing about in the 3D phase of this connection here with the king and queen of pentacles and the devil, if I can get that into focus here. This 3D phase in this connection is bringing apart, bringing to the feminine, an opportunity where she can really decide how she wants to move forward. I have a feeling that when this 3D circumstance happens, whatever it is, the feminine is going to be given an opportunity to stay or go, to accept or to allow it to leave. And that's the masculine himself. This is gonna be a moment where all her learnings will come to the surface, where all her teachings will need to be integrated and she will have to really show up in her full authenticity to really decide how she wants this to go, okay? It could be having honest conversations, it could be setting boundaries, or it could be choosing to let this masculine stay or go, okay? So it seems the next phase is 3D for this connection. It seems pretty big, but I'll come back to the beginnings and I'd say focus on the light, okay? As if you're finding yourself into one of these connections and you're gonna be facing some brutal truths and brutal realities, um, and toxicities, understand that there is auth authenticity and attraction in the mix in this connection, okay? But also understand that there is love. Don't focus on the areas in which your counterpart is not showing up to the table. Focus on the ways that they are. 
you know? And for your own individual journey, focus on the things that are working for you rather than not um, really honoring those things that are working for you by distracting yourself with the things that are not, okay? Keep to the light and that will see you through. And at the end, choose your healing and choose your happiness. That's gonna be the biggest challenge for this pair, okay?